My name is Robert Shetterly. This painting project, Americans That Tell the Truth, was actually not something I wanted to do. Events in the world kind of overwhelmed me. I knew that I had to respond in some way, doing the thing that I do best, which is paint. I had the good sense to, to think that I could take the energy from those feelings, anger and grief, and use them to do something positive. What you see here is a, a kind of collection of, of, of people who many other people want to be in the company of. They want to um, identify with them and then act so that they can become part of that same story. It has um, been probably the most noble and difficult story of this country's history, which is to try to live up to our own ideals. And these are just some of the people who have um, dedicated their lives to doing that. People get to a point where they are in despair about their lives. They have lost hope. They think that other people in their society no longer care about what happens to them. And they have lost that concern for themselves. Art can be the thing that restores them. And often it's, it's found you know, not in the adults, but in the children. The children are often the people who are, uh, still have the spark and the imagination to want to create. You can take art and begin to work with kids and then use that to inspire the whole community. The artistic changes can begin to lead to everything else, economic development, community change, community betterment, community cohesion, and um, that's what uh, art can do. Right here in, in Greensboro we've seen uh, one of the most amazing engagements with this project that I've ever seen. I mean, right here at this opening today, there are 240 paintings in this building of, done by young people in Greensboro in, I think, what, six or eight or ten different schools, painting their own truth-tellers, their own um, family members, their own parents, their own cousins, or iconic figures from the, from the society who inspire them. Our culture doesn't ask young people to be inspired that way. It asks them to be inspired by celebrity, by sports stars, by pop stars, by people with enormous wealth. Uh, it's all sort of vicarious and titillating, and it has very little to do with real values, human values, and it has very little to do with probably their own lives. Kids can't live vicariously and have successful lives. They need to find real role models with real values and real courage. The pictures that they're making in response to my pictures are incredibly important for them. To see that that's happening and that this has been, that idea has been embraced in this community is very significant. Uh, some people will say about art that it doesn't really do anything, you know, it's, it's the pretty thing behind the couch. Um, it's so much more significant than that because when it's used correctly, it is a direct link to the spirit and the courage of the spirit. And without those two things, you know, life becomes uh, not worth living. Thank you.